Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, your source of local initiatives, happenings, talents, and trends. I'm your host, Khalid Hijris, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personalities from around Bahrain. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Undergraduate students at the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, the leading national education and training institution in the region, achieved remarkable success by winning first places in three national competitions, namely the Trade Quest Challenge, which was organized by the Bahrain Bourse, the CFA Institute Research Challenge, and the Masari Challenge, that was organized by the Ministry of Youth Affairs. And to talk more about that, we are pleased to join the students here today with us, Assistant Manager Business Development, Noura Zekri, the representative students of the participating teams, Zainab Al Hashimi, Hussein Ramadan, and Salman Al Abbasi. Welcome guys, how are you guys doing? We're doing, doing well, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm very good, thank you, very happy to see you guys. So I'm going to start with you, Zainab. And you know, the word Masari, it, it comes um, from an Arabic word, Masar, that means road. And I mean, events such as these, I mean, they really open up a, a, a road to success for the youth of Bahrain. How has your experience been with the, with the project that you've been involved with? Um, it was amazing, to be honest. Uh, the goal of this entire competition was to develop and gain a more in-depth knowledge of what good corporate governance is and how to ethically work at a workplace. Um, for our experience, uh, we conducted a case study on one of the banks located here in Bahrain. We were covering their corporate governance structure, policies and procedures that were taken to develop a more integrated and strong uh, company culture. It's always really good to see how in the Kingdom of Bahrain we have so many things that are taking a much more practical approach, right? Yeah. And that is really integrating stuff from the industry to, to make it a lot more um, something that you can internalize and take with you beyond even your studies. And now, Salma, I'd like to ask you, you were involved with the CFA Institute Research Challenge. Tell us a little bit about your experience with that. Well, the CFA Research Challenge was definitely a positive experience. After months of hard work, we were announced the winning team in the local research challenge. And then we advanced to the sub-regional competitions. And in addition to that, we also joined the CFA MENA Society's Research Challenge that was organized by CFA Emirates, and that took place in Dubai. So we also got the chance to present our research in front of students from all around the region. And you're also, you guys are also representing Bahrain abroad, so I mean, that's yes. an, an amazing opportunity. Now, Noor, I would like to ask you how you value the fruitful cooperation between the BIBF and other institutions to achieve like the aspired goals of developing um, the skills of students in, in different uh, disciplines. Of course. Um, at the BIBF, we highly value our relationship with the institutions that we work with, the stakeholders and the organizations in achieving such goals. Um, we tend to take pride in some key aspects in reaching that goal. For instance, the fact that we are governed by the Central Bank of Bahrain, it helps us uh, launch such programs um, that are in line with the market needs, which in return helps us provide a strong foundation to the students and help us launch them to the job market. Which brings me to my second point, which is the um, relationship we have, the strong relationship we have with the business sector, which facilitates students' growth in practical knowledge. It helps us um, initiate memorandum of understanding to facilitate training and internship opportunities as well and of course not to forget our strong relationship with our university partners such as Bangor University and the University of London which helps us execute international qualifications locally here in Bahrain in a very unique way for instance, the Bangor University program helps us really tackle, for instance, the dealing room, help students learn about trading, execute their knowledge in trading in a uh, class, uh, class, uh, let's say, um, over-the-top um, uh, facilities at the BIBF. Not to mention that the students engage in case uh, studies and assignments that are directly linked with local market knowledge and international mar mar market knowledge so that they learn the uh, global expertise. And finally, as well, is that the fact that our faculty members are not only academics, but are also practitioners, which adds tremendous value to the student's education. All of these factors help us 
um, let's say, reach towards the success, not only during competitions, but as well as in the real life situations. I mean, it's really amazing to see what you guys are getting involved with. I mean, there, there seems to be so much to, to, to really get into. And again, it's so practical, I feel. And Sam, you were involved with the um, Trade Quest Challenge, which just from the name sounds impressive. Yes. Could you tell us about that? Of course, obviously. So basically, the Trade Quest competition is a trading competition. Uh, it is conducted by and regulated by the Bahrain Boards. And basically, the, the competition aims uh, to allow and boost the confidence of students to participate and interact professionally in the capital markets, which is also known as the stock markets. We basically, we are interactive in the U.S. market, which is the NASDAQ, and we are interactive in even in the Bahrain Bourse, which is the Bahraini market. Basically, the Trade Quest competition is uh, an example of the application of what we ever learned from school, and the, and the financial models that we uh, that we have in BIBF, with aligned the uh, basically experience of our mentors, the professional experience. So if you have a combination of both, you can basically trade professionally, and you can construct the portfolio which aims to be uh, basically achieved in the uh, Bahrain Bourse competition, the Trade Quest competition. Well, that sounds like a very rewarding experience. I mean, you definitely seem to have gotten a lot out of it. Very yes. well said. Um, now back to you, Zainab. I want to ask you about areas of knowledge. I mean, obviously, as a student, you're you're going to constantly be bombarded with knowledge, um, and uh, I'm sure that these experiences really helped build upon you know like whatever you've learned um, during your education. Are there any specific areas in particular that these experiences have built upon? Definitely, uh, this challenge really focused on uh, business ethics and understanding uh, integrity and diversity and inclusion as well as sustainability and their implementations in an organization and to be specific our case study focused on how to implement the anti-bribery and corruption policy and how it contributes to a good corporate governance in a company. Thank you so much for that answer, uh, Zainab. Uh, so I would like to ask you, Selma, you were involved with the CFA um, research uh, challenge, and that put you in, in the actual real world experience of what it was like to be a research analyst. So could you tell us a little bit about what that entailed? Yes, so my team members and I were provided with hands-on mentoring and intensive training in financial analysis and professional ethics by our supportive mentor, the several sessions organized by CFA Society Bahrain. And in addition to that, the modules in the undergraduate degree program at the BIBF helped us understand the research challenge more. So as a team, we were required to prepare a report and give a presentation about uh, equity valuation on safe properties. That's amazing. I mean, I, I know that I, 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 I couldn't do that. So, I mean, well done. I mean, again, it, it, it really is amazing to see what Bahrainis are doing and we're really marking ourselves on the map with all of these achievements that we have going on. And Noor, I, I, on that note, I do want to ask you, I mean, with all of these wins for Bahrain, particularly with these projects that you guys have been involved with, I mean, what do you think that reflects about the Bahraini people? Okay, so um, winning such competitions such as the CFA Challenge, the Trade Quest, Masari, and adding to the streak of winning is we've just been announced as the first place uh, by Injaz Bahrain. Our students won the first place as uh, and represented with the title of the, the um, company program of the year. Um, that's a testament of the let's say quality of the programs that we offer at the BIBF, the excellent training that they receive, the, um, let's say, the experience of the faculty that we have, and of course, without a doubt, is our students' passion and drive and hard work to reach to this point. Very well said. And congratulations on the win. I mean, it, again, I mean, it just seems like it seems to be one achievement after the other. And I'd like to ask you, Hussein. I mean, you were involved in the uh, Trade Quest Challenge, and I imagine that that was uh, had a lot of uh, components to it, basically. And I imagine with something like that, while you do get quite a lot of, because I'm hearing a lot of things that are quite theoretical to to me, but I'm sure that to you guys was a combination of both theory and practice. Yes. So, in in your experience, how how were the two? Uh, could you divide the two and explain the experience? Yes. Well, basically, if you want to uh, be a, a predominant uh, interactive a trader in the capital markets, you need to have a very strong uh, financial background. You need to understand 
the fundamentals of uh, the financial markets. You have to understand what, what is economics, what are the macroeconomical factors that influence these particular markets. And you also need to understand uh, a bit of more of uh, the market reaction towards uh, these particular market, uh, macroeconomical uh, factors. And we need to also include politics, uh, especially international politics, where uh, like what happens in this particular region, what will happen in that particular region, how that will affect this particular industry, because we are involved in a lot of sectors in the capital markets. We have, a we have 10 sectors, in, in fact. We have the financial sectors, industrial sectors, healthcare sectors, financial sectors. So theoret the theoretical part comes, comes here, where you need to understand a lot of theories. You, you, you have to understand how can you link financials with economics and the markets. Then comes the experience of our mentors. They are outstanding mentors. They are very active in the market. They, they have actual strategies, implemented strategies in the market. So because of them, we were able to be guided into the right path. And because of also the IBF uh, resources, we had, we had a full dealing room for us just to go and enter. And, 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 and there where we really spent a lot of hours and times researching and, uh, and basically testing our strategies. And we spent a lot of effort in that particular dealing room. And also the IBF provided for us other resources. We had the library, we had a full library. So basically, if you want to get in the market, you need to be a bit ahead of collecting information especially in terms of the industries itself. So if we have a full library, basically, we can get the resources really fast, and also by the guidance and the help of our mentors, we were basically uh, on the right track. So yeah, you need a combination of both. You need strong theoretical knowledge, which, basic, which basically was derived from our programs, our undergraduate programs, and we need the guidance from our mentors. We need ex very strong experience, to implement and they are the ones who have that so yeah i mean it sounds like the it, it's very holistic it, it includes so many so many parts to it that you guys can can really sink your teeth into and really get to know what you're doing you know kind of beyond the classroom which i think is incredible and the way that you're talking about all of these real world issues as well that you have to take into consideration it was something so massive. I mean, I'm sure you guys faced a lot of like challenges, but I mean, you're here today. So, I mean, clearly you were o able to overcome them. So could you guys tell us a little bit about those challenges and how, how you managed to overcome them? One of the challenges that my team and I faced was uh, arranging for meetings to complete the case study. Um, considering that uh, my team and I consist of students from different majors and different year levels, it was quite difficult to find a free time in our busy schedules. Um, however, with the, our commitment to win and the support of our faculty and our mentor, uh, we were able to successfully complete the case study and without hindering any of our studies. It's amazing. And Selma, I would actually like to ask you the very same question. So one of the difficulties we faced was managing between the research challenge and our academic work. And my team and I set smaller deadlines to stay on track and avoid comprom uh, compromising our academic performance. And our mentor also helped us overcome many difficulties because he clarified any doubts we had throughout the whole program. We as a team, we agreed upon the ups and downs that this competition would derive. So we expected that, okay, we will be very busy and we need to basically consider our studies and our commitments when it comes to our undergraduate program. So that was the first constraint, that was the first challenge, that we needed to balance out between our regular meetings. We had at least three to four meetings a week just to make our reports, just to basically settle our strategies, and we had to go to classes. So uh, it was intense. That's the first uh, challenge. The second challenge was basically time when it comes to our trading periods. We had only one month for every trading period. And in that particular month, we had to collect information, we had to trade, we had to implement more strategies, we had to even overcome changes in the market. So we had to be updated constantly, consistently. We cannot ignore our portfolio. The third challenge was basically as temptations. So we agreed that we will not have weekends and we will not have holidays. In the holidays, we were very busy. Making, conducting our research, conducting our uh, portfolio management. So we were very tempted with a lot of holidays and stuff from the others, but uh, thankfully from our, uh, from our mentor, like he basically guided us that, and he reminded us all the time that, okay, 
we need to secure the first place. So we have to work really hard. Even I, I remember in December where everybody were celebrating the National Day, we asked BIBF to open the building for us and to sit in BIBF and to basically conduct our research and to continue our work. So these three particular challenges were the most dominant ones. And I'm just in utter awe of, of how eloquently you're able to all articulate like your achievements. Um, and Noor, I actually want to build on what Hussein said, and I want to ask you a little bit about what incentivizes students with, with their busy schedules, as you all probably have, to take on such, uh, such um, important undertakings. With all honesty, we do have a large number of students who are interested in joining such initiatives. Um, and I think it's tasked to do with their motivation to put their knowledge, whatever they've learned in the classroom, into practice, into real life scenarios, to tackle on the problem solving, technical skills, uh, their creativeness. Not only that, but it allows them to use this platform to shine, to be recognized and to be um, the prestige itself. Um, it also adds to their uh, professional network. It builds on that and it helps them pursue internship opportunities and job opportunities in the future. I believe these are the factors that contribute to that. Definitely, and I mean, I think with these days, especially with the way that the world is, I mean, we, we have so much access to information that we're always looking for ways to expand ourselves. And luckily here in the Kingdom of Bahrain, I mean, there's no shortage of initiatives that can really put our minds to the test and, and reward us for it. Now, I have another question for all of you. I mean, this sounds very, it sounds quite specialist to me because, I mean, I know nothing about the economy, uh, quite frankly. Um, but, I mean, it certainly sounds like a very interesting field with, with a, a lot to it. Uh, how did creativity, if, it, if creativity played any part in your respective um, initiatives, what part did creativity play in them? Um, I would say creativity came from, as I mentioned earlier, our different knowledge levels. We had different perspectives, different knowledge areas that really added creativity, I would say, to our case study. In order for us to uh, trade in a more smart way, uh, what we did was we tried to implement the strategies that our mentor had basically or adapted in his professional life with the knowledge that we have in our theory parts. So what we did, we tried to manipulate uh, we tried to manipulate this information in Excel so that it can generate for us a particular um, where it can help us in the decision making of uh, selecting stocks and even want to sell stocks, want to buy stocks, and even to basically to monitor them. So what we did was, uh, in part of creativity, obviously, we we implemented the knowledge that we had from our undergraduate programs into Excel, and with the guidance of our mentor, we generated a full live uh, monitoring uh, program in Excel. So, so that it made it, it made it very easier for us to uh, invigilate our stocks and to look at to want to sell them and want to buy them instead of basically browsing onto the platform and checking every stock individually and making the calculations individually. So we just have a, a spreadsheet which is live in Excel, which can tell us a, a lot of things and it made it very easier for us. So that's innovation. And it's really amazing to see how you guys are really putting your knowledge to the test and really building a real world understanding of what you might be getting yourselves into once you, once you leave university. So um, I, I do want to ask you guys now on a kind of more personal note, how does it feel to, to be winners basically? Um, for me, winning the Masari Challenge was an incredible achievement for my team and I, especially because there was a strong competition from various local universities in Bahrain. And I'm beyond proud to represent BIBF. And I'm grateful for the assigned bank and the BIBF support uh, to further motivate us and um, provide us with all the resources to win this challenge. Winning is always a great thing because it gives you a sense of achievement. After months of hard work and countless meetings, we finally enjoyed the fruit of our labor. The support we got from BIBF and the support and guidance we got from our mentor contributed to our win and it made us advance to the sub-regional competitions where we also represented the Kingdom of Bahrain. So it was definitely a, a very great experience. Feeling victorious was very worth it. Uh, 
like our our hard work really paid off and a huge weight was pulled off from our shoulders basically uh, that program was very long it was six months and we were basically trading and made, making reports and presenting to the Bahrain boards for six months so when we saw that we secured the first place we we were speechless basically and we did not know from where to start to thank who exactly we want we thank everyone we thank all the stakeholders around us we first of all we will thank BIBF for basically make, making this particular event uh, possible to all the students for providing this particular competition to our university and then we will thank also the Bahrain boards for basically regulating this rigorous competition and um, and how enriching the experience is and obviously I will obviously thank uh, our mentors uh, our mentors are the ones who uh, basically stood late night with us they are the ones who uh, invested a lot of time with us so feeling victorious is the only thing that I can basically uh, express myself with. I think Victorious is a perfect descriptor and I think that it's something that is describing not only what you guys have achieved but inshallah what you will achieve going forward. Now Noor I'd like to ask you the BIBF believes in you know this marriage of like practical and theoretical learning and that that's vital in the educational field right? Um, can you tell us how how important that is especially from your point of view? Of course. Indeed, the BIBF believes in merging both academic knowledge with practical knowledge to enrich the student's experience. Having that balanced educational system um, allows the students to prosper beyond their educational journey. For instance, the theoretical knowledge will be important for them to understand key concepts, framework, um, and to actually build on their problem-solving skills, their uh, analytical skills. However, the other part is the practical knowledge. So the practical knowledge actually bridges the gap between um, academics and real life scenarios so it provides them a platform to implement uh, their knowledge into real life scenarios um, and as such we notice that our graduates are highly employable after graduation and based on our statistical data after three months of graduation we've attained 66 percent of students were employed and then after one full year 86 percent of our students have been employed so that's due to the merge of both um, let's say a balanced educational system and now our future plans, um, what we aspire to do is the ma to maximize our collaborative efforts with the business sector to allow students um, additional internship programs, training programs, not to mention to participate in seminars. Um, we always look forward to make sure that students are engaged in seminars that are in relation to trends in the market spe specifically with the technological advancement nowadays. So these are all initiatives that we're planning to maximize to the, towards the betterment of the student's success. Very well said. And I mean, it, it really sounds like you guys have really grown as a result of, of your experiences. And, and you know, I, I bet you guys are very thankful to BIBF for, uh, you know, granting you these, these amazing opportunities. And um, I, now I want you guys to imagine that, you know, you're, you have to convince your fellow students basically to, to get involved the same way that you did. What advice would you give them, starting with you, Zainab? Um, an advice I would give to my fellow students is definitely to go for it because um, take on the challenge, uh, take on the commitment, uh, don't worry about your studies. At the end of the day, whether you win or not, you're still going to learn something new and maybe you find your passion along the way. Very well said. Salma? I would definitely encourage students to participate in the CFA Research Challenge because it provided real world practices in the Research Challenge. So what I'm learning in theory during classes, I'm actually uh, seeing in the Research Challenge. So I would also advise students to familiarize themselves with uh, financial analysis. And it's a very interesting uh, challenge to be part in. And no? As I've mentioned earlier, I think um, this is an enriching experience that adds value beyond their academic knowledge. It adds towards their e future experiences. Having that background on their CVs opens up doors for them, employment opportunities, internship opportunities, and I believe that's important as well. And Hussein, tell us how you would convince your fellow students. 
Well, basically, if you want an experience that would be very enriching and yielding towards the capital markets, I would say in Bahrain, the Traquas competition will be the one that will really help you. It will, it's, it's not about uh, registering in uh, basic uh, capital markets uh, programs or anything. The Traquas competition is a fully fledged practical experience. So I will definitely recommend all the students across all the universities to do it. Uh, I'll just say just do it. That's it. Very well said. And before we end, is there anything else that anyone would like to add? We'd like to thank you for this thank opportunity. You. Thank, thank you, you for Very having us today. Thank you guys so much for joining us and I know I definitely feel like the future is very bright for the youth of Bahrain and it is always amazing to see how much investment the country puts in the youth and with you guys at the front line among with many others, I think the future looks very promising. Thank you again and best of luck. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, the youth of Bahrain are getting up to a lot of amazing things thanks to the opportunities provided by the Kingdom of Bahrain. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the finish line. A huge thank you to all of our guests for joining us tonight, and another huge thank you to all of you watching us at home. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our social media. We love to hear from you. This was Khalid Hidris, and until next time, good night and God bless.